Hello engineers. this is Hybrid Steel, thank you very much for joining me in today's video. So, a little while ago, over a year ago, I created a video, well actually I created this video. So yeah, I did $1 million in 5 minutes. I already had a build set up and it was like, hey cool, look at all this stuff and look at it all working. And that was good, but back then I was... Well, we didn't have half the equipment we have nowadays. So what I want to do is I want to recreate that build on this empty lot, the exact same place I did before, but I want to do it with everything I've learned. And then obviously we're going to see how much it's all worth. So as you can see, I've got all my equipment ready down there. That's basically everything that I'm going to need. I have my own set of stairs out. I've got my water pipe coming in already. And uh, yeah, so this is everything I'm going to need. As you can see, we're actually going to be using power for this one because we didn't have that in the previous build. I got my magic wand because we're in creative mode and I get to duplicate everything. And I think I had something stupid like 300 drills down here. Guess what I'm doing? It's all fun and games. Since it. All right, so if you went back to the old build, you saw like rows of Goliath drills with one belt between each section. So you had 10, you had 10 Goliath drills on one side, then a belt, then another 10, which basically it got a little bit messed up. But like I said, this build that I'm building now, it's knowledge that I've picked up over the time of playing this game. It's also knowledge of like, all the stuff that I've tried to teach other people as well. So that, you know, this is it, for the last year, it's been a learning curve of like learning how to do the game properly, how to play it properly, this, that and the other. And at the end of the day, you could build a build better and more efficient if you're willing to put the time in. So this is what I've built so far. So, so far, we've done, I've only done 30 drills. All right, so 30 drills, that's quite a lot of drills. But what I've done is I've actually split the belt twice. So instead of having just one belt, we're now running two. I put this in the middle so the, the dirt just smashes into that and then lines into treaders. And then what happens at the end of it is obviously, when we get to the end, this lands on another belt, which is going to centralise and then go through the shredder and then centralise and go up to the eventually the harvester. So I know that the last time I did this, I was doing like drill, belt, drill, belt, drill, and, and it was... You know, it was a little bit iffy, especially with the piping as well. But obviously, over the time that the game has evolved, we now have, like, power chambers, and we have all this, and we have these, and everything's a little bit more different. So the build is a, a lot more efficient. And instead of just having 10 per row, I'm now going to be doing 40 per row. Well, 20. So the, the instead of having a row of 10, we now have a row of 20. Basically, should technically get me way more it's going to get me way more than a million so i'm going to carry on building this and i've got to be honest doing this has actually made me think a lot more of like how to do stuff and how to build bigger and stronger and going into like 2.0 it's uh, there's going to be a lot of builds like this if not more like this okay i'm finished i'm all good i've built i've built the machine the downside to the machine is it's not 300 drills it's only 160. The main reason for doing only 160 is because the way that I've set this up, because it's more productive, the game has a massive problem. So you got to think, in before, the game was running for five minutes. These drills rotate every 28 seconds with a power booster in the back of them. That boosts them to 100% of efficiency, which means they run faster. Now, when you run Goliath drills constantly, they spit out, and then when you break it down, they break down to 16 pieces. So 160 times 16 is two and a half thousand. I only know that because I had to use a calculator before I came on and did this video. So can you imagine running this two and a half thousand bits of dirt or around that? So around sort of like, let's say 2,300. So let's say some of them don't break down as much. And then 2,300 bits of dirt, and then you've got to rotate that for over five minutes. Now the drills power, they go through every 30 seconds, let's say 30 seconds. So this means they'll run 10 times in 5 minutes, which isn't too bad. When you consider that's 2,300 parts times 10, that's 23,000 particles of dirt, which this game would just go and kill my computer. So there is no point in me doing that. All right, so this is going to be a bit one of those like funky videos where what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the machine 10 times. Right, that will basically that's the amount that would run through on a five minute run. Just this isn't going to take me five minutes, it's going to take me a little bit longer because of the size of the build. The reason why this isn't a 300 build is because this machine is more efficient than the one I've done before, which means already I know it's going to make more money. And the reason why I know it's going to make more money is just because I know how much is going to run through this machine. But I wanted to do this as an experiment can I make one million dollars with less machines? 
with a more efficient build with the knowledge that I've gained over my time of playing this game and the way that I would set things up and so on and so forth. After this video is fit, after I've gone through the totals, when we get to the end, when we're running up through the totals of what's what and how much everything's worth, I'll talk about the build and talk about the game as it's evolved. But, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this bad boy on. And so what I've done here is I've pulled all of this through. This is my auto reader to make sure this is okay. And then it's got 20 in there. It's going to be fixed. And then this controls the water for the whole setup. But this controls the water for the Goliaths only. The reason why is because I'm going to have to I'm going to have to wangle around and sort of like reset this every single time. I have to have a way of turning off the Goliaths. So I've installed this. This will turn the Goliaths off on every rotation. I can give the game a couple of seconds to catch up, and then I can rotate through and do the next round. That's how it's all going to work every single one of these works i did one test just to make sure it all rotated and it all went well so it's all good i know it i know it goes through now here's the joys here's the big thing can 160 goliath drills outdo my previous build and make me more money stay tuned here we go all right water's going on as you can see the water's on the belts are working oh I was on quick rotation. <laughs> okay, so that's the first load of dirt going through so i got to do this nine more times I'll see you in a minute they can all go in there as well so minus the amount of time that that took let's say that was just an official 10 minute run a five minute run five minutes and boom we've gone for it all and it's all good and it's all blinding you know we've made so much money hopefully 2.0 will be able to build like this and it won't cause much lag and if it doesn't then builds like this may become more common the reason why is because hopefully the lag will have stopped which means builds like this become common people build these because they can they'll be like oh my god look at the size of this and that's sort of what i'm hoping for so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh, where's my pan there's my pan <laughs> my pan my pan now i'm gonna take me jewels so because we now have onyx this is gonna make me a little bit more money anyway because i have to create another ring i have to create another well i say ring it's gonna be a necklace um but it has to be something else that's gonna make a lot more profit and the reason why is just because we now have onyx we have to split our bars instead of uh, splitting one gold bar into six we now have to split it into eight which yes okay means we have to we have to split it down further but we're making that extra bit of jewelry which is like it's like just throwing money at me basically it's all good right so what we're gonna do is first off i'm gonna check this on the scale Ready? 1.2 million. Oh my god! That's, that is already, in its raw form, is worth more than uh, what I made in the in the full build of the 1 million build. So I'm estimating near 2 after I finish doing this. So first off what we need to do is we need to cut this down into 3. Bung it on the fire. So what it is underneath here is there's a um, there's a furnace underneath this block, so it just heats through. It just means I don't have to I don't have to put it on an uneven surface. It's, that's just the way I like it. It's all good. It's all good. Right. Where's my hammer? There's my hammer. It's all good. One bar, two bar, three bar, four. A big sword. The sword of Swordamonium. Oh yes. Oh, oh yes. Right now we need to do the Cloudium because. With the Cloudium, all the while this is still going, because I'm pretty sure in 2.0, this e the workbench is either disappearing or it's being made into something else. So all the while this is still here, I'm keeping this as, an, uh, as a way of making some dosh. So stick that in, pick up my screwdriver, and boom, one blunderbuss. Oh, yeah. Blunderbuss. Next is gold. So gold we need to split into four. So we'll go one, and then we'll put that to one side, and then we'll split that and that again. So then we got four bars of gold, and then one, two, three, four. Now, if you're new to the game, you're probably wondering why I'm doing this. And the reason why is because if you take one big bar and only make it into one necklace, you're only getting X amount of money. If you split it into four bars, because you've got four gems, you can make X amount of money plus bonus. And the reason why you're getting a bonus is because you're turning a lot, you're turning things that are only worth a certain amount into extra amount because you're making extra stuff they, you're always you're always able to make more money the more effort you put into a build so if you make a necklace over a ring 
you'll make more money if you make a giant sword over you know well if you make if you make a giant sword over a dagger the sword's going to be worth more money even though that one piece of metal is exactly the same value as the three pieces that you've had to cut the block into the effort you put into making something is actually rewarded so what i'm doing here is instead of just making one necklace i'm making four so it's worth more money and for all those other newbies out there who've only just come into this game going, hey, how do you do this? Well, I'm just going to show you how to pick up all your stuff in one go. So you take your pan, hold down your action button, and you go into hoover mode. There we go. And now everything's attached to the bucket. Now we can run down to the jewelers, and we can see how much this is all worth. 1.7 million. Is that 1.7? Well, 720,000. Yeah, so it's 1.7 million. That's not too shabby, so I'll take that. That's a, that's a good little profit. So I want to talk about the build a little bit. I know a lot of people are probably just tuned off by now. So the reason why I did this was because the original video was a long time ago. I only made a million dollars in five minutes. And it was because I didn't really understand the game I was playing. I was still educating people on how to play the game. But I just never really did anything with the Goliath drill at that time. I even think it was done before the I even had a plan with grinders. Now this, on the plus side, this just goes to show the potential of less drills for more money because you got to think the last time it was 300 drills this time it's 160 so i've almost taken half of what i had before and made almost twice as much which ain't bad so yeah if you've got a computer and you want to build something big th this is sort of where i would see it and this is 20 row this is uh, each row of goliath drills is 20 and there is eight rows there so that's not too shabby it will lag your computer if you if you run this too much you'll you'll see the frame drop after about a minute and a half because well you'll probably you'll see the frame drop before a minute and a half but even by then the glass would have spat out three times you'd just be in trouble um it's a it's a decent build and i like it i'm hoping this is the standard for like 2.0 like, you know, even people on potato computers can be able to build something like this and just go, holy crap, this game can now run what I want to build. You know, I know some of us will probably go much, much bigger. And, you know, we'll be testing the limits of this game. But I feel that this is like the standard build of 2.0. I think this is where people want to go because they want to feel accomplishment. They want to feel like they've they've achieved a bigger build, a more, a more insurmountable profit, a more impressive game you know for for them to play and if this is the standard then 160 collateral is just fun and setting it up is a pain in the ass I'm, i think i've spent about four hours setting this up in creative mode alone um maybe a little bit longer because i did it over the course of like three or four days I, I was doing a couple of hours i was doing an hour maybe two hours here and there so it may have been longer than four hours but um it's so all the joys of experimentation but there you go i've gone from 300 drills down to 160 drills and it's all good. so yeah that's about it all good in my book taking it to the next level fan dabby doozy so yeah if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like subscribe and notification button below for all other updates i'll be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else i do on this channel if you have any questions or anything you want answered or if any videos that you need explaining let me know in the comment section below i'd love to hear your thoughts and the reason why is because your thoughts turn into my idea my my videos and then it's all good right so thank you very much for kicking by i'll see you all of them peace out have fun enjoy everything you guys do kaboom first bump to you